and many people know him as the voice of the Red Wings, but at his core, Ken Daniels is a dad, and he has a very important message. On this Father's Day, our Kim DiGiulio tells us the story of Jamie Daniels and how his father is honoring his life by helping those who struggle with addiction. To Detroiters, Ken Daniels is like family. I've been the play-by-play -play voice on television for the Detroit Red Wings now for the past 25 seasons. But at home, Ken's family was dealing with heartache when they learned their son Jamie was addicted to drugs. Well, when Jamie was uh, in his frat in college, someone said, why don't you try these? And it was prescription medication. And uh, because after all, if a doctor prescribed it, it can't kill you. It can eventually. And within five days, Jamie was hooked. After years of rehab and nearly eight months sober, Jamie passed away. To take one thing, and that one thing is laced with fentanyl, that's what got him. Since that day, Ken, Jamie's mom Lisa, and their daughter Arlen have made it their mission to help others struggling with addiction with the Jamie Daniels Foundation, raising more than $1.2 million since launching in 2018. We've expanded our support now to seven Michigan colleges uh, with guidance recovery coaches in the colleges to help. Puck circling, and there goes Daniels out of the zone. Puck right in front, scores! But this Father's Day, Ken Daniels won't get to spend time with his son, something he'd give anything to do. That's why he's encouraging every dad and mom to savor their time with their children and talk about the dangers of drug use. You just don't know. That's why we, we tell parents all the time, have the conversations at home. If you see a difference in how your child is handling things, if they become isolated in the room, what is wrong? And if you have to say, look what happened to Jamie Daniels, go ahead. That keeps him there front and center, and we're happy about that. And this fall, the Jamie Daniels Foundation is going to be opening a new treatment center in Troy. Ken Daniels is also urging Congress to pass the No Pain Act, which would increase access to non-opioid treatments for people struggling with addiction. If that's you, you can find help at jamiedanielsfoundation.org. I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4. That was a fantastic piece, yeah. Kim, and it's just so important to have these conversations, hopefully prevent another family from facing a tragedy like this. And a reminder that Father's Day can sometimes be hard yeah. for a lot of families out there as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And and I also like that we're we're having those conversations mm -hmm. as well, that, you know, for the dads or the father, father figures um, or for folks who've lost a parent, mm -hmm. uh, this can be an extremely difficult, yeah. difficult day. Thank you, Kim, for that story. Also,